Hey everybody, this is the top three things you need to know, the T3T, the Christmas special. So let's get ready to roll. Number one, the first thing you need to know is Christmas is on her way, his way, whatever Christmas you are, um, you're a holiday and uh, you're also the birth of Jesus. So what are the services? Well, just let, let's, let's review it really quickly. Let's come and get out to a service. You have the four o'clock, more of a family-based service in the traditional sanctuary. Reverend Patsy will be preaching the sermon to all of your kiddos. So it is a well-attended service, so make sure you get there early. All right, uh, then you have the 5 p.m. CFW service, another big family-based service as well. That has the pageant. So the gospel will be all of your kiddos in clothes, investments, and costumes in presenting the gospel uh, according to Luke about the birth of Jesus Christ. Then if you want to get under the stars and say, look up and like, wow, that's the star, the star that led uh, Joseph and his wife and the shepherds and the Magi, uh, that is uh, going to be at 645 in the courtyard. Um, outdoors in the courtyard. 8.30, we're back in the traditional sanctuary, which is more of a right to, traditional right to, voices, glorious hymns. And then if you want to just keep on going, uh, stick around for the 11 o'clock, which is the midnight mass at 11 o'clock in the traditional sanctuary. Then you can just sleep in the courtyard, wake up and be ready for the 10 a.m. Christmas mass. Uh, that is on Christmas day at 10 a.m. Then don't go anywhere because the second thing you need to know is that Father Todd's last service is on Sunday. So remember, we have a tritium, a Christmas tritium. We have Friday, which is Christmas Eve, then uh, Saturday, which is Christmas Day, and then you have Sunday, which is the first Sunday after Christmas. Uh, and so that will be Father Todd's last service at 10 a.m., 10 a.m. in Ross Hall. Not the sanctuary, nor their services, only 10 a.m. It's a hybrid service where you have the band and you have the choir and you have everything in between. Um, to really reflect all the great stuff that Father Todd has come up with here. So that is, um, really put that down. I know it's a tough one to make because it's the Sunday after Christmas, but, you know, kind of a special day because of Jesus and because of Father Todd's retirement. Okay, the uh, third thing you need to know is that on January 9th, you're probably wondering how does all of this transition stuff work? Well, the diocese will be coming uh, and to be with us on January 9th. That is a Sunday. We have Canon Jason Roberson great guy who will be preaching at all the services. So, but you want to make it to the big coffee hour that we'll have after the 10 o'clock. We'll be answering all your questions, but also doing a presentation to us about what this means and also being a great pastoral presence during this time, because it's, it's going to be a, a new dawn and a new time. And the uh, diocese really wants to help wrap their arms around us with lots of love during this time. But we have a great team and we are ready to roll. Father Todd has done an incredible job of getting us going. So come on January 9th to hear uh, from Canon Jason go boom. All right, guys, God bless you. Have, have a happy, blessed Advent. And as Father Todd would say, I hope baby Jesus is not in any of your mangers yet because it's still Advent. You put baby Jesus in the manger on Christmas Day. Okay, guys, God bless you. And uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.